it's the internet, you're busy, let's do this. This is me inside of PUBG. Um, what I'm really doing here is I'm testing out the cam link. This is a new USB dongle from Elgato. Uh, Elgato's already done their stream capture cards uh, for live streaming video games, capturing video for video games to put on YouTube, things like that. More recently, they introduced the Stream Deck, which is the, a little tool that kind of acts as a command center for when you're live streaming. You can hit a button and it can do a range of activities. Um, they're all like little LCD buttons. Uh, now, today, uh, as I'm recording this at least, Elgato has also announced the Cam Link, which enables you to hook up any HDMI based camera to any computer to capture with, which is what I'm doing right now with my Canon T4i. Um, on top of that, they also had to have a green screen. This is, I'm not using their green screen, I have my own, um, but I, I will just say that so far using the Cam Link, I'm getting pretty good results uh, using my T4i over using the Logitech, uh, what is, uh, I have a C620, not quite the 920, um, one of the older models, maybe C625, something like that. And I have, I have to mess around with that a lot to get the light levels just right, the exposure just right, the white balance correct, to correctly key out the chroma uh, the, the green coloring behind me. When it comes to this, however, uh, it just kind of just working because I think it, the, the sensor on the Canon T4i is just so much um, larger that it can bring in a lot more visual data and it can handle the like, green screen, you know, blocking out a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to hop in, I'm going to play a game, maybe try to talk about the cam link a little bit and we'll see how it goes. Now I am using a T4i and now this is a DS, DSLR they're not made for live streaming, clearly. That's the idea of the cam link, though. And with the cam link, you can plug in something like a DSLR, but the most DSLRs are going to come with a lot of limitations. Um, for example, this Canon will only run for will only record video for 30 minutes. Now you can install a custom firmware called Magic Lantern, and if you do that, uh, you can adjust a lot of things. For example, right now I'm getting clean HDMI out, which is something I actually didn't think was possible, but I've uh, I messed around and I found that option. In, in the Magic Lantern settings for the T4i. And so I'm getting a, a clean HDMI out, so there's no none of the um, menu settings around the edges, which is something that was a problem with some of the other things. Now, I, I do think I am getting a bit of a delay. Now, I'm not sure. I'm recording this locally. Uh, that delay could be for any number of things. I'm going to make sure that all my extra windows are closed and everything like that. Let's go ahead and make sure... Well, Chrome's closed, but I, I think that might be a delay being introduced by the cam link itself or just the, 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 the nature of the Canon. Maybe the Canon is a little bit slower. So uh, let's just test it out right now. What do you say? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So we'll kind of see how those line up. I'm betting we're going to have a little delay. The audio is going to come a little bit before the video. Um, that's something you can fix. Uh, a little bit in XSplit uh, by putting, a, you know, enacting an audio delay. But then that kind of mixes up your what, what you see in the game and and how the voices. I mean, sure, it's going to be lined up with your mouth, but maybe you might be a few seconds behind in the game. Not a few seconds, but you know what I mean. All right, so let's jump down in here. Um, I think in a moment I might do a comparison. Between this and the, my Logitech. Now, this again, it's not the C920, which is what most people use, but it, it's fairly close. Um, it has a, a much uh, larger field of view than the C920, but it's it still kind of has the, a, a similar image quality. Let's just go to the school. Let's get this over with quickly. I, I, I guess what I'm saying. Now. Using the Magic Lantern, I'm able to keep the, the, the camera on for a long time, although I don't, actually don't even have that set right now. So what I've been doing is uh, going, going over there and pressing the button to keep it open, keeping it live. Um, but I also have it plugged in now to power. And I'm hoping that will just keep it running and keep it going without it automatically shutting off. Now, if you were to be recording video with it simultaneously, like I said, it only is at that 30-minute limit. There is a way to adjust that with Magic Lantern. Uh, that's something I haven't quite done yet. These are all going to be hurdles for people who are like, oh, I have a DSLR, I'll just get a cam link, and that'll be way easier than just even getting a Logitech. Now, I don't necessarily know if that's going to be the case. It's really going to depend on the camera you have. Um, some cameras might be really well built for this. Now, 
they might not necessarily be DSLRs, especially since the reason that the cameras typically shut off after 30 minutes is because sensors overheat, they could get damaged, uh, it, it could become a, a whole thing. It could be a, a big problem for you and for you and your camera that's you know might cost anywhere from 700 to a couple thousand dollars. Um, let me get this crowbar. Um, yes, so, you know what, I might as well just go kill, kill some people, shouldn't I? Nope, yep, right in the face. Cool, see, like I said, get it over with quickly. So, you know what we should do? Yeah, you can see my, I'm starting to get some uh, shimmering back behind here. That's just the sunlight. I, I, let me give you an example. Uh, I think I can bring up the Logitech. So this is what the Logitech looks like. And... Let me see. Okay, so no, the videos are exactly lined up. I think there might just be that might just be a, a problem with my system. So, you know, now I can um really mess around with the settings on the Logitech to kind of fix all the shimmering in the background, but I, I didn't have to do that with the Canon. I think that's one of the, the benefits here. And the can I mean. Hell, just having different lenses being able to go on the on the Canon. Like, I can do this. That's, uh... <laughs> I don't know. That's. I think this is... It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. But, let's see here. Let's adjust the Logitech, Logitech to uh, make it more comparable. Getting the video output settings or input settings. I think if I... Mostly adjust the uh, white balance and then the exposure. You can see, I, okay, that, that got pretty close. And uh, I, I think at this point, I mean, I'm still a bit red. And that's just color intensity and stuff. I, I almost think, like, the Logitech looks better than my, uh, my, eight, my DSLR. And I think the reason for that is because... The DSLR is working through HDMI output, which it's not normally supposed to do. It's normally going to be capturing video on its system, and the what, what I'm getting here is the video that's on on the display on the screen of the Canon itself. And this is a little bit lower quality. It's just not as good. Um, so I, I mean, again, the Cam Lake's value to you is really going to depend on the camera you have. If you have like a, a mirrorless, you know, small little almost point and shoot, you know, those really compact mirrorless near DSLRs uh, that are capable of running for a long time and capturing video, maybe that's good. There are some like small cameras that have basically built in phone camera sensors in them. Those might be really good. Uh, I think your, your DSLR... Uh, at least in the range that I'm working in, you know, a couple hundred, like this one was like $700, $800 a few years ago when I bought it. I think in that range, this might not be, this is not the solution you're maybe looking for. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'll say that, you know, there's a lot more noise behind me on the Logitech, but maybe I think may, honestly just bumping up to the C920, C922, that would solve those issues um, as opposed to working with the Canon where I, you know, clearly the, the lens is able to capture light a lot better. I think my, uh, the coloring is, is perfect. It's spot on. And yet it's still keying out the, the green in the background. Um, and, but I am, I think I'm a little bit squashed. I'm a little bit, yeah, smushed. Uh, I, there might be ways to mess around with that to fix that, but it's going to take a lot of experimentation and it might just be more trouble than it's worth in this case. Now, that's not to say the cam link's worthless. It, it's a really cool idea. I think a lot of people are going to have cameras that they're going to want to use this with. I mean, even if you just have um, a GoPro, a GoPro might be a good solution here. All of these things are possibilities, things that you could use, um, options to bring in a, a different quality video into your live streams and into your recordings that you just can't get from a Logitech. As is, though, I think most people are going to be very happy just sticking with the Logitech. So, yeah. I think that's going to wrap it up. Again, this is the, the the Cam Link from Elgato. It's out now, or at least I think it's available for ordering now for $130. Uh, pick it up if it's something that you think you could use. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to keep messing around with it, see if I can't get the best quality out of it that's possible. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.